This video will provide you with an introduction to Trimble's GCS900 CB460 control box. The CB460 is the operator's interface to his Trimble machine control system. The layout of the control box includes the screen, software keys, navigation keys, power button and USB interface. Let's start by looking at the software keys. Each of the software keys, or soft keys for short, performs a function that is represented by a corresponding icon on the screen. The functions will vary depending on the machine type, what screen or menu is active, and how the system may be configured for the operator. The adjacent keys are primarily for navigation of the system. There are zoom keys. Short presses of these zoom keys will incrementally zoom the view in or out. Holding in the key will either zoom into and center on the machine or zoom out to the design's extents. The next key will tab you through the various views. The views available and the information displayed on them will vary depending on the machine type and how the system has been configured for the operator. The arrow keys allow for panning about the current view. They are also used for navigating the menus and entering information. The menu key is used to enter the configuration menu. The OK key will select a menu item or confirm a setting. The back key will exit the menu or abandon a screen without applying change settings. We will now have a look at some of the common functions on the Trimble GCS 900 system. In particular, how to select lines and configure horizontal and vertical offsets. Offset options can be accessed from the offset key or from the configuration menu. We will use the soft key shortcut. Toggling between horizontal and vertical offset options can be done with the soft key option. Vertical offsets will allow the operator to raise or lower the design surface by a specific value. For example, an operator can lower a finish level design to allow for pavement depth, or raise a design to allow for compaction. There are two soft keys that will incrementally increase or decrease the vertical offset. Note the offset value associated with these keys can be customized. Alternatively, the arrow keys can be used to enter a specific value. The plus and minus soft key toggles the vertical offset between below or minus and above plus the design surface. The vertical offset can be reset to zero with the corresponding soft key. We will apply a vertical offset of minus 0.5 meters. It is not possible to see the vertical offset applied in the plan view. However, the offset bar, which is displayed in all views, provides details of any vertical offset that is applied. Tabbing to the cross section or profile view will show the original design surface as a black profile and the offset surface as a red profile. Cut and fill values now relate to this offset surface. Returning to the offset options, we will now look at horizontal offsets. The horizontal offset options allow an operator to select and optionally offset a line to receive horizontal guidance. The alignment soft key will access the plan view from which a line can be selected. Note the zoom keys 
will apply as they do in the regular plan view. Using the arrows the cursor is gu guided to a desired line. Pressing the select soft key will highlight the selected line. Selecting another line will deselect the previous line. The deselect soft key clears the selection completely. OK confirms the selection. Back on the plan view we can see the selected line is highlighted in red and the offline distance and direction is indicated on the screen. The distance and direction relates to a location or focus point on the bucket or blade indicated by a red square. Here we can see that the distance is from the center of the bucket to the line. The focus point can be changed using the focus soft key. Selecting this soft key toggles the focus between the left corner tip, center and right corner tip. In the cross section view the selected line is represented by a red vertical line. In this case we can see that it relates to the back of curb. Returning to the horizontal offset menu I will apply a horizontal offset of 0.3 meters. This will provide the operator with a line for his pavement box that will allow room to pour the concrete curb. Defining the horizontal offset is done the same as the vertical offset. Soft keys provide incremental offsets, a reset to zero option and a toggle between left and right. Alternatively the arrow keys can be used to define a specific offset. Back on the plan view we can see the original line now bold and the offset line in red. On the offset bar we can see that we now have both a 0.5 meter vertical offset and a 0.3 meter horizontal offset. Tabbing to the cross section view we can see that the line has been offset behind the curb. This concludes the introduction to Trimble's GCS 900 CB460 control box.